I just dropped the palette. What is this on my face? What? <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be testing out a hot new makeup collection from Tarte. It is the Mermaid Collection or Mer Makeup, it says on here. So it's all about mermaids. Basically, it'll be a first impression on the collection and kind of like a review, give you guys my thoughts on the products and if I think it's worth buying or not. Hey guys, Sylvia from the future here. Me at the end of the video, I just remembered I wanted to put this in the intro. Make sure you're following my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat because I'm gonna be doing five days of giveaways. I'll be doing giveaways on any one of those socials and every single day you have a chance to win and it's including a lot of really fun good makeup. Okay, let's give it back to past Sylvia. So the vault has most of the products in the collection. I believe that they also are selling like a facial serum, a body spray, and like a hair salt spray, wavy hair product, but that doesn't come in the vault. The vault is $159. The top layer, you got hardest lip paints. You got some false eyelashes that look kind of crazy, glitter gel, and then a bunch of cute stickers and like jewels because this is one of their festival collections, I guess, just in time for festival season. The second layer has the actual palette, eyelash curlers, mascara, and a another lip product. And the last layer is just some brushes. So I've already started with my base, like my foundation, concealer, brows, just cause they don't have those products in the collection. So we're gonna finish up my face makeup using some of their brushes. They have a few face brushes and then some eye brushes. We're gonna use these for our eyes later, but let's test these babies out. The brushes sell for $42 and you get five brushes and they are like this really like Tumblr cute mermaid themed brushes. They are really gorgeous. They're synthetic hairs, very soft. For the face brushes, it looks like you have a powder brush right here, big fluffy one. And then this is like a cheek brush for blush or bronzer. And then this they say is like a highlight stippling brush. And when I first looked at this, I was like kind of confused. I was like, what could this possibly be for? Cause it kind of seems big for highlight, but that's what they say you can use it for. So for blush and bronzer and highlight, we're gonna use this other hot new product that I haven't tried before from Urban Decay. It is the Sin Afterglow Palette. Let's go ahead and use their cheek brush and test out some of this this bronzer here. It has quite a bit of shimmer in it. So I was like confused, is it a highlight, is it bronzer? But I'm pretty sure it's just a bronzer with some shimmer. I feel like the synthetic hairs on the brush are making it so then the product is going on very like softly. It's not just like dumping a bunch of the product on your face. It's kind of dispersing it really nice and making it easier to blend. So I'm kind of liking this brush so far, even for bronzer. As for the actual bronzer itself, it's honestly looking like a contour. Like it's got more of like an ashy tone to it. We'll still put a little bit on our forehead. Oh my God, this brush is literally just so soft. I just wanna like rub it all over. Okay, so now just to use the big fluffy brush, we're gonna set my entire face with some translucent powder and see how it applies the product. Ooh, it is really huge and fluffy. Oh my God, this is perfect for an all over face brush because the bristles are so soft, it's not gonna disturb your foundation base and everything. It just like slightly glides on top of your foundation. Because it's so big, it does it really quickly. Honestly, I think this is one of my favorite brushes right off the bat for all over face powder, just because like my other brushes aren't soft enough, I feel like. Now let's use what they call the highlight stippling brush. So it looks like they have like a highlight shade for every skin tone. If you're deeper skin tone, this one would look good. Medium and light. I'll go for maybe the medium one. It's called Spotlight. So this is with just one dip into the product. It's not like insanely blinding so far. Obviously I'm gonna build it to see how blinding we can get it. But it definitely looks like the highlights in this palette are more of like the super finely milled powders, no really glitter in it. It's just meant to give you like a natural dewy kind of highlight. This brush for highlight I feel like is too big. I kind of don't really have control of where it's going. So I'm kind of just getting everywhere, which I don't know, I'm not really used to for highlight. I use a way smaller brush. Like I usually use brushes like this for highlight. This is the Morphe M501 brush. And then this one is AOA Studio F19 brush. I would still use this brush, just not for highlight. Okay, so highlight bronzer is on. Let's try out the blush. Back in with the cheek brush here and I'll probably use the mixture of the two of them. I can't tell if the formula of these powders are just really, really subtle or if it's because of the brushes, but the product is like going on so subtly that I'm really having to put on a few layers to build it, but it's giving me a really nice like soft application, which I like. Final verdicts on the Afterglow palette here. I like it. I think if you like the shades in it and the shades work for your skin tone, then you're gonna like it. Maybe if you're a deeper skin tone, like the blushes might not do too much for you and definitely not the bronzer. But I would say if you're medium to 
a light skin tone, then you'll probably like the shades in the palette. They'll work for you. I like it. I think it's good for traveling. It kind of has everything in there. And for the actual face brushes themselves, I actually really, really like them. I think they're so soft and they did a really good job of giving me a nice soft application and they're gorgeous. Those are Sylvia approved. Okay, so now let's try out their Mermist, which is a shimmer spray. It's supposed to be for your face, your body, anything basically to give you a mermaid glow. I'm gonna apply this before I do any eye makeup just because whenever I'm applying a setting spray that's kind of dewy or glowy, it's much more likely to smudge your eye makeup. This literally looks like heaven in a bottle. Like that is so pretty. Let's see. It's on my neck. Ooh, by the way, I just got a spray tan and I'm kind of still figuring out my shade, so not exactly perfect, don't judge. Oh my gosh, it has actual glitter pieces in it. So this is it on my chest. It kind of has a little bit of an oily feeling to it, but it's not anything crazy and it has actual glitter pieces, so it's really gonna make your skin glow like a mermaid, I guess, is what they were trying to do. And then this is it on my face. I don't know how I feel about it on my face because you can actually see the glitter pieces and definitely in the sunlight, if you're like at a festival, you'll be able to see glitter all over your face. So for me, I would only really use this as a body spray. I like it a lot better. So next up, we have their eyeshadow palette from the collection. It is in this beautiful seashell packaging. She shell, she shell. Fun fact, Sylvia as a child could not differentiate S and H and S's. Like I would say the word sun, shun, and then I would call somebody Sean, son, you know? Anyways, I would mess it up all the time. And I feel like still to this day, I kind of struggle with it. So the sea shell <laughs> packaging is so cute. It's kind of like iridescent. It's honestly just really gorgeous. It's got 14 shades total. It got a mixture of mattes and shimmers. It's mostly shimmers. And the shades in here are actually really pretty. They're a lot of fun, you know? You got the colorful shades in there, but it still looks wearable. I feel like this palette won't really scare you away if you don't like color too much because you still have like really wearable shades. And overall, I'm really feeling the shades in this palette. I'll use their pencil brush because why not for a brow bone highlight. We'll use the shade Froze. Ooh, the mirror in here is really pretty. Like I feel like I don't even need to use my desk mirror. I like that. The palette's got some weight to it too. Like it feels expensive. That's a pretty brow bone highlight. That is gorgeous. It kind of matches the cheek highlight that we did from the Urban Decay palette. So I would consider this like a champagne color, but it kind of looks rose gold in the palette. So that's a surprise. I'm gonna bring that all the way down, connect it to the cheek highlight. So for a transition shade, I'm gonna use Sandbar right here. And I'm noticing there's a lot of shades that kind of look very similar to each other. You've got these two shades that are really similar. And then even like all the burgundy shades, like they're different formulas. One's matte, one's shimmer, one's kind of glittery, you know, but they're still very similar. But maybe they apply differently. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt and let's go in with that sandbar shade as a transition. Oh, that's applying really, really nicely. It's pigmented, still soft and easy to blend. And it says that their eyeshadows have Amazonian clay in it and it's meant to make sure the eyeshadows don't crease and are more long lasting, I guess. So I'm just gonna keep building this until I get enough color on there. If you don't know, Tarte really prides itself on being a cruelty-free brand and they have all vegan products with good for you ingredients. So, you know, that's a really big plus that's why they have such a huge loyal following too and yeah it's just a fun fact about the brand i guess by the way you guys an update on my merch <laughs> that has supposed to been coming out like it was taking a long time first because i just wanted to get it right but honestly it's just been messed up a bunch of times so i'm trying a new approach aka going to somebody else to help me with it, but I think I just didn't have the right people to help me create my vision. So it's taking a little bit longer, but the merch is coming, okay? Now the expectations are just way too high, like don't expect anything crazy. So we'll keep it neutral on my lid and we'll kind of bring the color on the lower lash line, but I'm gonna go in with Shelia. Yeah. It's like a bronze. And I'm gonna use the brush from the collection to apply that. Ooh, that's not even wetting my brush. So that is amazing payoff. But I am gonna wet my brush just because it's really messy when the powder is kind of flying everywhere with shimmers, so let's see what we can get now. This is the most gorgeous bronze shade, wow. Next up, let's use Cavern right here. And I am gonna use the same brush, just flip it on the other side. Wet it just a little bit so we don't get that much fallout and apply it on the outer part here. And I do a gradient on the lid. I'm gonna flick it out and blend. So now let's add some color to our lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with the shade Splash. 
And we're gonna apply that all along the lower lash line using their pencil brush. I'm really liking the formula of these eyeshadows. They're applying really nicely, both the mattes and the shimmers for sure. Now I'm not gonna be afraid to take it pretty low because we are gonna do a more festival appropriate look so you can get kind of crazy with it. We're gonna really smoke that out and connect it to the shadows on the end here. Here we go, blend it out super low, like honestly, basically covering up all my undry bags, so that's fine. Okay, now let's deepen up the lower lash line using the shade Lagoon, which is the darker blue. Still using the same brush just because I really want to see how much you can utilize this brush. So I'm just keeping the shade closer to my lashes and not blending it out as far. So eyeshadow is on, loving all the shades that I used. Now here's an overlay of all of the swatches of all the shades so you can see how similar, how different they are. Overall, I would say there are a lot of similar shades. I think all the shades are super pretty and they all were really, really pigmented and like buttery to swatch, it was so easy. So I'm gonna say that I am a fan of the palette. Like I do really like it from the way the packaging looks to the formula of the shadows to the shades. So next up, let's try out their mascara. This is their Lights Camera Lash. Lashes mascara. I think they just changed the packaging. They've had this mascara for a while. And there's also this really pretty lash curler in the collection. I have lash extensions on, so I won't be using this, but it just looks like your basic lash curler. I am gonna use their mascara on my lower lashes. This mascara is supposed to like nourish your lashes, actually be good for them because of the ingredients that they use. And it's supposed to be like a conditioner for your lashes, is what they say. This mascara, I've always thought it's just kind of like whatever for me. Like I don't hate it, but it doesn't really stand out in all the other mascaras that I have. It's got a big kind of fluffy wand and I think it adds like volume to your lashes but it doesn't make them like super long and it takes quite a few layers but once you add a bunch of layers like I like the finished product so it's an okay mascara at my books and the packaging is really cute for this collection so they also came out with these mermaid lashes that look really really funky I mean they got a bunch of colors in them and I feel like I like the style of the lash but I don't know how I feel about the colors of the lash hairs I can't try them on because I have lash extensions but I'm gonna pop up some pictures of the models wearing their lashes and what they're promoting it like on the site so you guys can see what it looks like on and from what I've seen it kind of just makes it look like your lashes have fallout on them because I feel like it's not vibrant enough and you can't really know that it's like just the design of the lash so I can't say that I like these or that I would even wear them for a festival but I like the style of them I just wish they were colorful and crazy I feel like this is just a personal preference thing so moving on to the next item this is the mermaid glitter gel which intrigued me the most from everything in the collection I was like oh my god glitter and gel like you got me it looks so cool this is so satisfying it's literally jelly this is so pretty and I feel like it's very convenient because it's this like gel consistency you don't need like glitter glue for it or anything like that so let's apply a little bit on my shoulders pretty so you can really put this like anywhere your body your face oh my god that's so pretty I feel like a unicorn right now or I guess a mermaid <laughs> it's got a variety of like bigger chunks of glitter small chunks of glitter and they're like holographic and like iridescent that's really pretty so this is what it looks like on my decollete my shoulders it is so pretty I really like that glitter gel I even want to put a little bit on the inner corners because we didn't do a highlight in the inner corner I think this would be really cool there so let's dip in using their pencil brush and apply some on my inner corner okay jelly consistency is kind of hard to use in the inner corner but we'll make do so there we go it's applied to my inner corners my body I love this stuff I think it's really really cool especially for a festival it's quick you can apply this like as glitter tears to take your makeup to the next level. You can apply it in your hair. I think it's dope. It's really pretty. So now let's apply the lip products that come in the vault. So first we'll apply the Tardis Lip Paint in Exposed. This is a really pretty nude. I feel like if it was any lighter, I probably would need a lip liner. I honestly probably would still use a lip liner with it, but I'll be honest, the Tardis Lip Paints aren't my absolute favorite just because they do feel a little bit drying after you have them on for a little while. And I feel like these ones really give you butthole lips. I don't know why, but the shade is really nice. I just have never been a big fan of the Tardis Lip Paint formula. Maybe we'll have better luck with the lip gloss formula. So this one's called Mermaid and it looks like it's just like a lip topper and it honestly looks like this glitter in the lip gloss form. It's iridescent. Wow, that's really, really pretty. Kind of gives your lips like a out of space alien type of futuristic look. So the lip gloss is completely applied. I think it's really pretty on its own. Like if you just look at only my lips, but then everything all together, I feel like the blue reflect to it is kind of making my lips look like I'm dead but it is really pretty on its own. So last up, I have to try out these jewels in the vault. So you got some sequins, a little bag of like glitter sequins. I guess you can apply this like lash glue or something like that. This is really pretty for like your body and you got some more jewels here. So let's apply these ones on my face. That's so pretty. 
Okay, so we got the jewels on my face. They're so cute. It's such an easy way, I guess, to like take your makeup look to like that festival level. I like that. They're really pretty. And then this one, I feel like I would wear it probably like middle of my cleavage here, but I'm not gonna apply that because obviously I'm not going to a festival. And same with this little baggie of sequins. I'll probably just save that because it can get pretty messy, but I'd probably apply that honestly everywhere and just be glistening from head to toe. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look using basically everything from the Tarte Mermaid collection. I like how it turned out. I think this is a really fun, cool festival collection. A lot of times festival collections can be very gimmicky, all about just like, you know, the aesthetic of it, but they don't actually perform well. And I feel like this one really did perform well. It's convenient, it's easy to use from the glitter gel to the stickers. Even the eyeshadow shades like in the palette are very wearable, but they're still festival-like. I think if you're really into collecting makeup and you're really into festivals, this is the perfect little kit to get one of those vaults if you want your makeup to be festival ready. The only thing that I really kind of wasn't a fan of was the eyelashes, just because I really don't see myself ever wearing those and I don't like the way they look like in the pictures, so not a fan of those. The eyebrushes are good quality, but they're kind of like meh, you know, that you only get two of them, a pencil brush and this like half-assed like blending brush. I think they should have either made all face brushes or all eye brushes. It's kind of weird that they only made two eye brushes. So that's just another kind of opinion I have on the collection, but overall, I was a fan of the majority of the stuff. Don't forget to follow me on my social so you guys can be part of the five days of giveaways. Good luck to everybody. And that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my S Club before you leave. And then check out these other videos of mine. Go and watch them if you haven't seen them yet. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Mwah. Bye.